there's technologies that have changed our world as we know it. Good morning, Toastmasters. Good morning. Good morning. That technology would be this little device called the cell phone. Yes, it has really changed things for us. Let's go back in time. We'll hop into our time machine prior to the cell phone. I remember when I was out doing sound work and I would get a page. Yeah, I had a pager. <coughs> you had to run around trying to find a phone, a pay phone to use. Make sure you had a pocket full of quarters. It was sort of a pain. And when you actually found one, either like at a 7-Eleven store, a gas station, they were broken. The headset was just hanging there with a wire. It was really impractical. And then on top of it, they were gross. You wanted to wash your hands after using these phones. They were just like awful. So when I heard the invention of the cell phone, I thought it was great. I had to get one. I wanted my cell phone. But they were too expensive at the time, big and bulky. The first ones were mounted in cars. So when the first small portable, well, it wasn't this small, my first small phone, it was a big hunkin' thing you could almost hurt somebody with. It was a lethal weapon, but I didn't. One thing I've learned about this, it did change the world and how people react to each other every single day. I used to go have breakfast at a place, I like to have breakfast at Coco's, and I would be at the counter. And one morning, there was this gal on her cell phone, and she was talking, ignoring everybody around her, out loud, I mean, you could hear it. And the conversation was about her female health problems. It's just, <laughs> we did not want to hear this. We were eating people. It was not good. Everybody in the restaurant was like, looking at each other. Well, I finally got up and left because it was a very awkward situation. And another time, I would work in a retail store, and I had this gentleman who come in and use his cell phone, but he wouldn't do it like we all do, like this. He would put it on a speakerphone, turn it up loud, the whole store. We had to hear his whole conversation. I didn't want to hear it. Nobody else wanted to hear it. So I actually had to go and tell him, will you please? Take your phone outside. I don't want to hear what you're talking about. No sense in it. I really don't understand people because a lot of times we go to facilities, you know, theater, and they do post up the sign, please sign your cell phone. But it seems to me people can't read. <laughs> or they don't understand it. I mean, it's so obvious what it says. You know, I don't get it, but there's always that one person. The one person whose phone goes off and they feel like they have to answer it. Don't call that important. Most of the time, it is not. I find about 99% of the time, emergencies I can understand. But it's not. It's frivolous conversation that goes on among people in their cell phones. The big sin for me is in church. Having a cell phone go off in church, I think there should be the 11th commandment. <laughs> Thou shalt not have a communications device in a house of worship. I just love that. I had to put that in there. there. There's been times where I'm sitting there, I'm in the moment, and I'm praying, you know, God, you know, in it. That one person, phone goes off. <laughs> and I'm just like going, oh, this is awful. Just, God, please, one lightning bolt, just one, just zap him. We'll be all over with. <laughs> but God to this day has not answered that prayer. I'm still waiting. Maybe he will. But then. There's the movie theaters. Again. Oh, I hate it. Oh, yeah. We all hate that. <laughs> Happens to me a lot, actually. And even they text now in the movie theaters. You got this light. It shines in your eyes. Again, they, do they put the sign up? Can't people read it? Don't they understand? Please silence your cell phone. The sign's there. It's so obvious. They just don't get it. 
You know, there's been many times where I actually had to tell people, you know, hey, take your call outside. You know, we're in a movie theater. So I came up with the idea of the cell phone police. You know, I'm all for freedoms, but sometimes people stress the cell phone thing around other people. So I figured the cell phone police would have a bucket of water. Your cell phone goes off, they take it in the water. But people wouldn't do it anymore. The cell phone thing would be taken care of. So please, don't have your cell phone go off around me in church, a theater, or anywhere, or even a restaurant. I will bring my bucket of water and drop it in. Thank you very much.